What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add images to your games with Pygame and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add images to our Pygame game. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership to all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add images to your game. And I've created these little uh, goofy 8-bit kind of superhero character images. I used AI to build these myself. So these are like not copyrighted images. Uh, they'll be on my GitHub if you want to download them or whatever. It doesn't really matter what image you use. If you're interested in how I, if you're interested in how I do things like this with AI, uh, head over to displace.ai, sign up for the free newsletter. I'm always talking about AI stuff over there. So Anyway, we've got this little guy. You can see I'm moving it around with the arrow keys on my keyboard just to keep things simple. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Pygame series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file. I'm calling it blitting.py. And that's what we're going to be doing here. It's a thing called blitting. It's a weird term. Basically, it just means copying very quickly data images. So when we want to add an image, we're going to be blitting that image. It's just a term. Don't <laughs> think too much about it. So I've got the code from a couple of videos ago where we put a little silver, where we put a little blue circle on the screen and then used our keyboard to move it around. In fact, if we save this and head over to our terminal, I'm in my C games directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on. If we run Python blitting.py, you see we get this little circle. And we can move it around with the arrow keys on our keyboard. So if you didn't see this video, check the playlist. We went over all this code in that video. So we're just going to modify this. And instead of having this circle, which I'm going to comment out right here, we're going to add an image. So, so if we head back over to our terminal here and we look in this directory, I've got these two images that I created, hero left.png and hero right.png. And like I said, you can use any image you want. If you want to use these, they'll be in my GitHub repository. The link is in the pinned comment, but it really doesn't matter which of these you use. So hero left and hero right. Hero left is facing left and hero right is facing right. Or opposite, however that is. <laughs> and uh, that's all there is to that. So let's come up here and outside of our running loop here, let's load our images. And we've got two images here. I'm going to call this hero underscore right. There we go. And hero underscore left. They're superheroes, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. And here we just call the pygame dot image dot load function. And then here, since these images are in the same directory that this file is, we could just use a relative path and call hero underscore right dot png. If they were in some other directory, you know, you might have to go, I don't know, something like this and, uh, you know, image it, whatever, something like along those lines, or maybe I guess like that. But since these images are in the same directory, we could just use a relative path. So we can go ahead and copy this, add it again. And this is going to be hero left. In the last video, we talked about creating rectangles, creating shapes, and those were recs. Right. So basically what we're going to do is draw a rectangle around the image. And then we're going to use that rectangle to move around the screen, just like we moved this circle a couple of videos ago. And that's sort of the common way to do images, to move images around in Pygame. So luckily we don't have to like do any math or anything. There's a function that will get the rectangle of the image for us. It'll take any image and figure out what size it is and put a rectangle around it all automatically. So here let's uh, get rect surrounding our images. And I'm going to call this hero underscore right underscore rect and hero underscore left underscore rect. And this is just the name of our image. We could just call the image now. And then we can call the dot get underscore rect function, right? So very cool, very easy. Let me just copy this. And then this will be left. So now we've got them loaded. We've got them rectified. Is that a word? Whatever. Now we need to position our images. Say where on the screen we want to do this. And we use these recs to do it. So we've got hero right rect and hero left rect. And here we can call a function called dot 
top left and set that equal to a tuple of some coordinates. So if we want this one to be in the top left-hand corner of the screen at say zero, zero, we could do that. We talked about coordinates in the last video. So here, this top left, there are other options we can do top right if we want, whatever. And here, remember in the last video, we added some constants. So let's do that again, window underscore width and set that equal to 800 and when window underscore height and set that equal to 500 uh, when, man, I did not spell either of these right. So window width and window height. And here, let's just change our things down here to this and this. Like I said, we updated this in the last video, but it didn't get transferred over to this code because this is earlier code. And so here we can come down here and let's say we want the window width of whatever that is, and then down zero. Okay, so we've got our images positioned. Now we need to actually copy them onto the screen. So we need to do that inside of our loop here, All right? So let's come down here above this, but below where we told the screen to be silver. And let's put some space here and let's say uh, blit or copy. Uh, think of it as copying. Blit is the word that geeks use, but I, it's we're copying it, copying it onto the surface. Where are we going to put this? We're going to put it on our screen because remember up here, we defined our screen as screen, right? So we're going to copy onto the screen uh, an object at some given coordinates. All right. So to do that, we just call screen dot blit. And again, it's screen because that's what we are calling our screen, right? The size screen of a size 800 by, by 500. Then inside of here, we need to define what we're going to blit. So we're going to blit this hero, right? So I'll just copy this. And where are we going to put it? What coordinates? So again, we have the screen object, which is this and given coordinates, which is going to be, let's see our hero, right? Rect. Okay, so we can copy this and paste it again, but this is going to be hero left and this is going to be hero left rect. Okay, go ahead and save this head back over to our terminal and let's run this guy again. And when we do, boom, we get these two guys. Now, again, just to walk through this, if we come up here to, let's see our coordinates here and if we pull this back up, Remember, we're putting this one, the hero right, which faces right in the top left hand corner. This is the top left hand corner right here at zero, zero. So that's just right here. The other one we put at the top right corner, which is over here. And we put it at the window width, which is 800. So remember, it starts at zero, goes all the way over to 800 and down zero. Boom, it's right there. Now, if I click on this and hit my arrow keys, this little guy over here doesn't move. How do we make a move? Well, super simple. Remember, we have all this key press stuff from like the very first video in this series. Go check that out on the playlist if you didn't see it. And we're moving the player position around. Well, we could just change that to that rect. So let's call the hero right rect. Let me copy this. And instead of player position Y, that goes in there. Same thing here. And instead of player position X, that goes in there. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. See if that worked. And when we click on this and I hit my arrow keys. All right, our little guy moves around. Now he's not animated at this point. It's just the static image moving in space. We'll get to that probably later, but hey, very cool Ooh, off the screen. We could go off the screen down over and then back up again. <laughs> All kinds of crazy. I'm hitting two arrows, the up and the over at the same time to go diagonal. It's very fun. And that's all there is to it. So that's blitting, not very complicated. Again, just to walk through this very quickly, you just load your image, super easy, turn it into a rect and then position that rect and then blit it. So remember, this is while the loop is looping. Every time this moves, it sort of copies it from the coordinates and puts it on the screen. And that's kind of all there is to it.
So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeby.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codeby.com, and I'll see you in the next video.